Hello everyone and welcome back upstream. Today, we will be walking you through how to move your crypto off your chosen exchange and into your wallet. Regardless of which exchange or wallet you have chosen to use, the process should look pretty similar. If you're relatively new to crypto or more of what you might call a retail investor, basically you're not investing billions of pounds and own a mega yacht, you most likely buy your crypto on exchanges such as crypto.com, Binance, or one of the many other exchanges. However, once you have taken the plunge and decided to hold your investment for the long term, keeping them on an exchange is not the best idea, unless you're actively trading, which is buying, selling your crypto daily, weekly, or monthly. This is mainly for security reasons. If you want to learn a little more about those reasons, you can watch Luke's upstream debut here, where he provides a very good example of why your crypto is not 100% secure if you leave it on the exchange. Remember that first time you ever rode a roller coaster? You were terrified and didn't know what to expect, but I bet once you got off, the fear was gone and you wanted to do it again. Well, that's a bit like moving your crypto off the exchange. You might nearly give yourself a heart attack the first time you do it, or even the first few times, but it's actually quite simple and straightforward once you know how. First of all, you need to make sure that the wallet you're using accepts ADA. If you're using a Cardano specific wallet like Daedonis, Eternal or Yuri, then you don't need to worry. But if you're using a, a universal wallet like Trust Wallet or Exodus, which accept different types of token, then you will have to take an extra step. Personally, I use Yuri Wallet to store and delegate my ADA. And we will be using Yuri to show you how to move your ADA off the exchange. If you need help setting up the wallet from the beginning, then you can check out this video here. Let's quickly move back to the universal wallets to show you that extra step. I will be using Trust Wallet. It's a very user-friendly wallet and supports hundreds of different tokens, but this step will look very similar no matter which universal wallet you use. To start, on your main wallet page, there will be an option to add a new token. Select this and then search either ADA or Cardano in the search field, and you will see an option to add or enable the token in your wallet. Turn this on and bish bash bosh, your wallet is now able to receive and store ADA. But I would ultimately recommend using a Cardano specific wallet. These wallets are designed and built with the purpose of helping the Cardano network operate by giving you the ability to stake your ADA with an SPO, stake pool operator, such as Upstream. This is what makes a proof of stake network run and earns you passive returns on your ADA. 5% APY I might add. See our video on proof of work versus proof of stake blockchains for a more in-depth breakdown of how this works. You could find it up here. Now let's move on to Yuri Wallet. Sending crypto is like traveling to your friend's fancy new house. If you don't know the address, then you don't know where to go and you could end up anywhere. It's the same with the crypto address. Think of it as directions to the place you want to send your crypto. In your main wallet, there is an option to both send and receive ADA. When we select receive, it will give you a long line of seemingly random numbers and letters. This is the address for receiving the ADA into your wallet. Don't worry, you don't need to remember this. There should be a button to copy this address. Now, log into the exchange where your ADA is held. You need to head to the page where all your assets are held. It could be called portfolio, assets, or wallet. Select ADA or Cardano in your wallet and you will see a number of options. One of these options will be send or slash withdraw or something like that. All you need to do is paste the address you previously copied from your ADA wallet. You will need to check that the network says Cardano and there will be a small fee for transferring the ADA from one place to another. Normally no more than one ADA. Now, it's incredibly important that you verify the address before sending. Just make sure the address you have entered in the exchange is the same as the one you copied from your wallet. If for some reason the address is incorrect and you hit send, Bye bye ADA. That ADA will not arrive in your wallet and is difficult, if not impossible to retrieve. Believe us, we've learned this from experience. Now you just have to wait for the ADA to arrive in your wallet. Prepare for squeaky bum time for the next five minutes. Now don't worry, as long as you've followed all the steps, your ADA will arrive in the wallet. We've done it so many times now, we just sit back and relax. Now that the ADA is in your wallet, you can delegate to your chosen pool which will obviously be upstream. Every time we produce a block, you will earn more ADA and you help the Cardano network run more efficiently. Do you love Cardano more than your boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, 
or monkey, then you should get yourself down to our next Cardano London Social. Organized by Upstream, we bring together folks who are developing projects, running state pools, or just holding ADA to have a good old chinwag and a few drinks. To find out where and when the next event is taking place, check out the meetup link in the description. And that's it folks. Remember to hit that subscribe button and follow us on Twitter at upstream underscore ADA to stay up to date on everything upstream and so that you can find out when the next Cardano London Social will be. Stay tuned for that. Ta-ta for now.